Amendment 13, right? Uh, they're going to ban Greyhound there's racing, uh, but there's nothing written on uh, what's going to happen to the dogs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's There's true. like 6,000 dogs that are instantaneously going to need a home. It cost me, it cost exactly. me about 1100 Doesn't that tell you right, does that should tell you right there that they don't give a shit about the dogs? Exactly. Yeah. Like, there's, where are all, the, all of these animals going to go? It's and if it's careful. banned, it's not just, there's, there's dogs uh, up on farms up north um, that aren't going to have a place to go. You know, it's more than just dogs in Florida. It is. See how fast uh, humans go? This is the first time you've seen you see dog these greyhounds blow by you. Oh yeah. First time. First yeah. Time ever. Well, all right, well, stand like right here because they're gonna go. Wow. Is that cool or what? So cool. <laughs> you know, greyhounds are pretty much the only breed like they're they hang out with their siblings until they're a year old. Oh wow. And they're they're always around other greyhounds and. So it doesn't matter who I talk to, if I go hang out with the people at the elephant sanctuary, or if I um, if I go to the Sea Worlds or go anywhere like that. He's the commentator guy. <laughs> it's Bob up top. No one thirteen. So no matter where I go, man, they all have one thing in common. Anybody with a working animal, they're lied about. They're slandered. Yeah, uh, by these animal rights people. So, animal rights and animal welfare are two totally different things. Yeah, they are. Okay, you know that? Okay. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Hey, everyone, how you doing? Hey, this is Jack here. Nice and cold in there. Dude, is it just me or is the sun rail the stupidest thing ever? Uh, the doggies are getting uh, animal cookies. Cracker. Isn't that kind of like cannibalism? Yeah. <laughs> Let me jump in there. So Dog. she's impacted the border of Whoops. Just hey, can I hang out in your house with you for a little while? So you get it down yeah, these crates are so small. The one thing the uh, animal rights people don't want you to see, and it's the truth. Yes, the muscles on this dog's hind legs, man, are huge. Look at that. Big old muscle right there. You don't get muscles like that by uh, sitting in a crate 23 hours a day like the lying animal rights groups people tell you. This crate is big enough for me and uh, this greyhound to take a nap. Oh, there's one of the abused dogs. Yeah. Didn't want a cookie. Let me, let me have the opportunity to show you what goes on here before you cast that book. That's all I want. The animal rights uh, people's one of their biggest thing that they use to get rid of racing is it's a dying industry. So let's just close it down. Basically, they're saying that this industry doesn't make enough money, so the government should shut them down. That's their argument. How many millions of dollars did this place make in uh, last year? It makes around eight million a month. Oh wow! Eight million a month isn't enough. It handles every dollar that comes It's a dying to industry. We should close it down, according to the animal rights people. Hey. That's why they wear muzzles, just so you know. Um, they will uh, smack you in the balls and shove their head up the crack of your butt. I don't know why they do that. I'm get a nut cup or something if I come out here. <laughs> Attention Florida voters, uh, the animal rights activists got Greyhound Racing on the ballot. Don't let these people come in and mess with Florida's constitution. Florida's constitution is already three times thicker than the U.S. constitution. What you see in this racing kennel, you'll see in any racing kennel in Florida. Uh, these Greyhounds have a network of people watching their backs, man. You'll never find a Greyhound uh, in a shelter anywhere. If abuse is so rampant, uh, 
Where's all the video footage of abused greyhounds? I mean, I've still never seen any of that. Animal rights groups, man, they got an agenda. These animal rights groups uh, reel in hundreds of millions of dollars a year in donations and spend almost none of it helping any animals. It all goes to lawyers and politicians. Animal rights groups don't even want you to have a dog for a pet. They don't even want a blind person to use a seeing eye dog. Greyhounds make awesome pets. And it's not because they're abused. Give me a break. There's a lot more at stake here than just greyhound racing. Um, these activist groups use their lawyers and their politicians uh, to pass laws against greyhound racing. They put verbiage in there that makes it easier for the next person they want to come after. Maybe it's horse racing. Uh, maybe it's SeaWorld. Every time they get something passed, uh, they move further up the ladder. Uh, their ultimate goal is the abolishment of all pet ownership. They believe at their core animals should be uh, viewed from a distance. That's it. We don't play with animals. We don't eat animals. They don't want you to uh, hunt or fish or play frisbee with your dog. The Humane Society of the United States uh, would prefer to euthanize every single domesticated animal. If you want a greyhound, there's a waiting list. Pretty much anywhere you go. There is here. We would give the dog to them, care of the dog, and you go through a vetting process. Good. They just don't hand them out. Yeah, good. And yeah. there's been a lot of people that have been turned down. Good. And once yeah. they think that you'll be a good fit for the dog, then they... But you have to sign a contract with the adoption group mm -hmm. stating that if you cannot care for the dog anymore if you have to give it up you you're, you can't give it to a shelter you have to give it back to the adoption group that you got it from yeah. Yeah. so they can rehome it the people that race these dogs tried to get this safety thing enacted where you insulate the wires and you, you do all these different things to the track to make it safer yeah. this track went ahead and did it anyways it cost them about 35 40 thousand um, they tried to force all the other tracks to do it through legislation and that was um, opposed by the tracks and the animal rights animal people rights. that are uh, fighting to end greyhound racing. They didn't want that enacted and they, yeah, they fought against it. See, they yeah. want, the, the more dogs that get hurt, the more, the more misery that they can report, the more money they can mm -hmm. make and the more they can push their agenda on legislation. If they're able to uh, end it here, there's other states that have it. And it's all around the world. They'll have a, they have a lifetime worth of um, stuff to uh, complain about and uh, real in donation money for. It's and if they did, if it does run dry, they'll just move to the zoo. They I want mean, to turn all these tracks. They got splinter the groups that are already working on SeaWorld, zoos, everything. Some of the tracks that they, they want against it. If you want cards, that's fine. Like they have. Look, Texas hold them. Mm -hmm. But you want to put slot machines and everything? Uh -uh. I'll oppose you every thing it might be in, and I'll leave before I you know, get on board with that. Mm -hmm. I don't want Florida to turn into Vegas. Yeah, they started doing kennel uh, tours of the kennels and stuff. And who leaned on the DBPR? The animal rights people daily, like, uh, you know, multiple times a day, uh, complaining. And, and the DBPR for a while there said, no more. Well, technically, we're not supposed to be doing it. But, you know, these guys are fighting for their life, man. And they can't show people what's going on in here. Yeah. You know? That's Those guys get to lie and slander and say anything that pops into their head, and these guys have to yeah. tell the truth. I mean, you can't make a dog do it. Yeah, she just it's a very right lopsided there. fight here. Not to mention, they're the ones with the hundreds of millions of dollars. Not, a dog here would rather run through a mud puddle, run around in that uh, sandy um, air pit out there, than sit on a nice clean couch. It's a dog. It's not a person. Yeah. A person wouldn't want to do that, but a dog. Every time, it's going to run through. The it's got the highest adoption rate you can think of. Who's got a higher adoption rate than Grand Racing? 